What's up YouTube, Meister Tom Gaming here, and I don't need it really anymore, um, now that I have my new uh, computer spec'd out, um, but like my last video, I noticed my Battlefield 3 uh, increase frames per second videos are getting a lot of views, so I'm going to do one for Battlefield 4, because I know even with uh, my top end, I've tested it out, it gives me like a 40% frames per second boost up from like, uh, what, 100 maybe, up to like 140, so this is really good. Um, really works well for all your uh, FPS needs, so I'll just get right to it. So like the Battlefield 3 video, you're going to want to get the Battlefield 4 settings editor. Same thing, it's just an updated version. You're going to want to type that in, you're going to want to go to Battlefield 4 settings editor. Simple, it's just like the old website, just updated. Go to downloads, and you can download 1.1 setup.exe or the zip archive. I have the zip archive in my downloads folder. We'll go to downloads. <coughs> Battlefield 4 settings editor. You're going to want to extract it wherever your uh, desktop program files. I'll just extract mine to the desktop temporarily. Extract all your stuff. Oops, forgot to give it a folder. That's all right. Um, launch Battlefield 4 settings editor run. Same thing, and if you use the Battlefield 3 settings editor and watch my previous setting uh, video, um, you can just import your settings, and that's pretty much all there is to it. If not, keep watching. You're going to want to go to Profile. You can do the default, or you can create your own. And then it all comes down to the settings. Under Gameplay, uh, you don't really have to do anything. It's just at opacity. It doesn't affect performance much. Weapon zoom. Graphics, though. This is where it comes in. Um, Field of view 90, the field of view can actually really uh, affect your frames per second. So if you are having really big issues, you could change that down to uh, 80 or 75, which is what some standard uh, first person shooters have. Motion blur and weapon blur, you take that off. Motion, motion blur amount, 0%. That is what you'd want to do for optimal performance. Um, full screen width and height, like in the previous video, 600, 800. Um, refresh rate, keep that there. Resolution scale. You can put that down to mm, 75, 75 to 70 to 80 would really help you a lot. And when it comes to uh, the graphics quality, just set everything to low. Go to custom if you want, and the lowest of the lows. Make sure it doesn't skip any. If there's an off option and you select low, it'll just put put low. So make sure you make everything low. It's going through off like that, low, turn everything off, graphics, that's pretty much what you want to do with graphics, sound, mm, this really doesn't do much, you don't have to worry about that, controls, nothing there, console, um, you really don't, don't worry about any of the console stuff, because the user.cfg file, like we did for the Battlefield 3 one, we'll worry about all the console stuff, so you can do that, and you can just hit save settings, and that's pretty much it, you can close the window. I'm not going to save my settings because I don't need to at the moment. And then you want to go into your Battlefield 4 folder, Program Files, Origin Games, Battlefield 4. And you're not going to have anything here. I've already uh, got it typed out. So you're going to want to make a notepad document. And you're going to want to, I'll put this uh, all this text in the description. But this is basically, instead of going into the game and opening up the console and typing this in one at a time, this just does it automatically when you start your game. And this will help. This will put your motion blur to zero, your motion blur uh, forced just to never be on. Um, it'll enable DirectX, and it will disable triple buffering. Uh, it'll draw your FPS at the top right. Simple uh, commands that you could just type in uh, helps not to. So you're going to want to file, save as. And you could just, I will just cancel, copy that in just in case. You can just go right click, new text document right in your folder and just user.cfg click it paste save it and close it and boom you're done launch battlefield 4 and the settings editor will have taken into effect along with the user.cfg um so i mean that's pretty much it um nothing else really to it that'll really affect your performance um, in a very positive way. 
if you do everything just like I showed you. Um, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If this helps your performance, if you have any questions, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the battlefield.